Nelson, and here's a look at what's going on this week in the news, and we begin with news from the Vatican. Well, during Pentecost Mass in St. Peter's Square on Sunday, Pope Francis told those gathered, including some 200,000 members of Catholic lay movements, that diversity is a blessing only when all Catholics recognize and follow church teaching. The Mass, May 19th, concluded a week and dedicated to lay movements, including the Charismatic Renewal, Focolare Movement, the Neo-Catechumenal Way, the Regnum Christi, Communion and Liberation, and others. Pope Francis called on church leaders and members to allow the Holy Spirit to inspire movements within the church, but to also allow the Holy Spirit to unite them all in the one church. The night before the Pentecost Mass, the Pope celebrated a vigil Mass with another group of about 200,000 people from Catholic lay movements. The Pope shared with them some of his personal faith journey, telling them about an experience he had at confession at the age of 17, which he said led him to the priesthood. He attributed his faith to his family in which the faith was lived simply and concretely. He said he draws strength from praying the rosary each day and from praying in front of the Blessed Sacrament each night, admitting that he nods off sometimes, but that God understands. One other note from the Vatican, Pope Francis took many by surprise earlier this year when he announced that he would say Holy Thursday Mass at a juvenile detention center in Rome and wash the feet of some of the inmates. Now he's receiving thank you notes from here in the United States for his Holy Thursday visit. From Reports has the details. These images of Pope Francis washing the feet of young prisoners on Holy Thursday traveled a lot further than Rome's juvenile detention center. From afar, young inmates who face life in prison in the county of Los Angeles were directly touched by the Pope's actions. Through the Jesuit Restorative Justice Initiative, some of those prisoners sent letters to Pope Francis, thanking him for sharing that day with prisoners and also asking for prayers. Some of the letters read, Dear Pope Francis, tonight we pray for all victims of violence. The families of people we've hurt need healing. Another says, you inspire me. I promise to be sober. And I hope I'll be given a second chance and receive a blessing from you. In response, Pope Francis recently sent a personal thank you letter signed directly by him, where he asked the director of the JRJI program to quote, please tell the young people that I'm remembering them in my prayers. In news now from around the country, Vermont Governor Peter Shumlin signed into law May 20th a bill legalizing physician-assisted suicide. Vermont becomes the first state now to have such a law passed by the legislature. Physician-assisted suicide also has been legalized in Oregon and Washington, but by a ballot initiative, and in Montana by a court ruling. Under Vermont's new physician-assisted suicide law, doctors can prescribe death-inducing drugs to terminally ill individuals who want to commit suicide, who then administer the medication themselves. The Vermont law limits the prescriptions of death-inducing medications to residents of the state. Bishop Salvatore Matano, head of the statewide diocese of Burlington, said in a statement that this new law asks those in the medical profession, which is a vocation dedicated to the service of life, to destroy the very lives they have pledged to save and to comfort at life's most critical moments. More news now from the Vatican. Pope Francis, for the first time at the Vatican as Pope, met with those who coordinate missionary activity around the globe. He thanked them for their work and singled out their prefect. Rim Report says more. For the very first time, Pope Francis met with the general directors of the Pontifical Missionary Works, which is the department that coordinates the areas where missionary work takes place. Cardinal Fernando Filoni is the prefect of the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples, meaning the Vatican Department that handles all the missionary work carried out by the church. The Pope thanked the Cardinal for his work, and he also mentioned that Cardinal Filoni has more than just one job. Cardinal Filoni ha un lavoro in più in questo tempo. Lui è professore. E Vieni da me per insegnarmi la Chiesa. E sì, viene e mi dice, ma questa diocesi è così, così, così. E io conosco la Chiesa grazie alle sue lezioni. E sono lezioni senza pagamento, eh, lo fa gratuitamente. The Pope thanked the congregation for all the work it does in different parts of the world. 
He also highlighted that missionary work is still very relevant and it holds a special place in his heart. Vorrei dirvi che mi siete particolarmente cari perché aiutate a tenere sempre viva l'attività di evangelizzazione, paradigma di ogni opera della Chiesa. Pope Francis also invited the directors to uphold a request Pope Paul VI made 50 years ago, which is to protect their missionary work and its final goal of proclaiming the gospel to those who need it most. By the way, at the end of the audience, Oblate Father Andrew Small, who's the National Director of the Pontifical Mission Societies in the United States, brought an iPad up to the Pope so that he could launch their new smartphone app. With one swipe, Pope Francis helped the organization broaden its reach around the world. And finally, in sports, for the second straight year, the Pontifical North American College soccer team took home the Rome's Clericus Cup. The NAC Martyrs beat the Legionnaires of Christ Matter Ecclesiae College 1-0 in the final playoff May 18th, earning them the championship title in the soccer series. The Clericus Cup tournament for priests and seminarian study in Rome was first played in 2007. In its seventh season, 355 seminarians and religious from 56 countries participated. Well, that is all the information we have for you at this time. I'm Kevin Nelson, and don't forget, you can keep up to date on Catholic news throughout the week with Catholic News Break right here on Catholic TV Network.